Well, there you are, and I'm glad you're back because I want to talk about my Hedamame headphones and how they've broken. Oh my God. It's sad, right? My 3D printed headphones have experienced a failure. Now, before we go into this, I wanna make sure that I tell you it is not a failure of the model. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. This is my problem. I chose the wrong material for one of these parts. And I think it's very valuable information to share with you. My mistake is going to lead to hopefully better parts in the future for you and for me. Originally, my Hedamame headphones were printed with parts from the Mark Forged Mark II 3D printer, and I used Onyx in order to print these parts. So I used protopasta, you know, on the colorful bits, but the black bits were Mark Forged Mark II, and it was in their Onyx material. And the reason I mention this is because Onyx is a nylon base, but on the Mark Forged, it has continuous carbon fiber. And the reason I mention this is because typically these parts are printed with a more rigid material such as PLA. Over time, the material has not softened, but it has moved a little bit. And I say this because this sort of apparatus right here should be very hard to click back and forth because this is what's holding this headband together. It should be more akin to that level of pressure, but it's not. And it's because this piece right here is printed in that onyx material and over time and over usage has made it migrate slightly. Let's get this all taken apart so I can give you a really good demonstration. We need to get out the tools and we need to take it apart. Luckily, it's really, really easy to do. So from there, there's the actual <laughs> speaker. So when we talk about carbon fiber nylons, especially materials from Mark Forge, such as their Onyx, they are fantastic for jigs, uh, assembly lines. It's a nylon base and it has carbon fiber in it to make it stiffer. That nylon makes it nice and strong. So if you think about it in manufacturing, it's a wonderful material to use for all of that when it's fully supported. That's the key. Here, <laughs> in this Hedamame headphone, it wasn't fully supported. And that's the issue, and that's why it migrated over time, and that's why it failed. It's not a failure in the material, it's a failure in the material choice. And the person that made that material choice is me. I'm the problem, it's me. So the speaker itself comes out. There's some wires here to disconnect, just like that. Speaker you can set aside. This is the part that holds on the pad, so we can set that aside. And now we get to this screw right here. And this is what holds on that little headphone clip. Out, yeah, just like that. So this is it. This piece right here, this is where it failed. And when you look at it, it really doesn't look like any failure at all has happened. It doesn't look like the material has changed from the original geometry. So what I did is I used my Prusa Mint on my Prusa Mark IV at home, and I printed two more of these because I knew this is where the failure was and this needed to happen. Let me go grab those and show you just how different the geometry is here versus a brand new one. Hold on. So here they are. I'm gonna take one of these and I'm just gonna put it next to it right here. <laughs> I'm gonna get you close up because I really want you to see the difference. It's staggering. This is gonna be the new one. This is gonna be the old one. Look how far that old one has moved. That is crazy. What? That is absolutely bonkers. So here's the real test. Now remember, this right here is how it is right now. Really easy to pull in and out, really floppy, comes right out. So now let's take this one, let's take a new one, let's slide that in. Oh. Yes! That's awesome! That is in there so much, 
so much sturdier. And really, this is a great demonstration of how to use materials properly. Now remember, carbon fiber nylon is a fantastic material. Yes, at the time I made this, it worked fine, but again, time makes fools of us all, everyone. everyone. And time told this material to move a little bit, and so that's why it didn't work out. And so while carbon fiber nylon and onyx, specifically from the Mark Forge Mark II, great material, used in manufacturing everywhere, fully supported, it will last probably longer than you and me, but for these headphones, it's gonna be best if this piece is printed in a more constantly rigid material, such as PLA. So let's get these new ones in the headphones, let's put them on, and let's see how they work out. All that's left to do is uh, throw these away, I guess, and then assemble these. So, oh, it's so much better. Look at that. They hold on steady and they don't fall off. Yeah, okay. Ha ha ha. Yes. Oh, this is so good. And just like that, my Hedamame headphones are better and back in service. And the reason is because we've properly chosen the material for the application. That's all it took. Yes, carbon fiber nylon is cool, but you have to use it the right way or else it's gonna look a little lazy and get out of shape. You wanna keep your materials nice and fit and in shape. Well, I guess now all that's left to do is close this out. If you've made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Find the place to plug this in. And as always, high five. All right, I'm gonna listen to some sweet music. iPhone. No.